Hello friends, my name is Rakesh and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about UDP SQL and hopefully this video will give you all the required details to about UDP SQL to start with. So so let's start. So what is UDP SQL? First of all, we'll see. It's it's an open source unit testing framework for automation for Oracle PL SQL. So we write PL SQL code for any complex business logic uh, in the applications in many areas like banking, investment management, travel, insurance, etc., etc. So it's very important to have very good unit test on on this to test out all these complex business logics so if you don't have any uh, automation or if you don't have any good frameworks to uh, uh, to test off these business logics what we normally do is we write um, or we execute all this um, uh, business logics mainly written in maybe in Oracle stored procedure packages or, or functional extra. So we normally run or we normally uh, execute this manually and uh, see the results. Uh, let's say if if this is in a if the, the if there is a short procedure to be tested to check uh, for any DML operation for to uh, see whether the records have been inserted, modified, deleted, etc., etc. So we normally run these um, uh, uh, the Oracle code and uh, see the verify the results in the back end. Uh, um, um, backend to table so, so all, all are manual basically so but uh, we that that is how we normally do a unit test uh, um, it's there is no there is no problem with that but with the help of this modern uh, framework uh, this uh, and with the help of this automation scripting um, it, uh, it's very helpful uh, to have uh, all these uh, unit testing uh, written and um, executing all these test cases uh, as a script and uh, seeing its uh, results all together in a report or uh, uh, for example uh, if, if you have 10 uh, uh, test cases written and uh, if you run this um, uh, scripting or i mean the automation then we can see okay uh, 10 total te uh, tests are executed are uh, 10 5 failed five succeeded and what are the errors etc etc so it, it comes with a all nice way of reporting and uh, we, we we don't have to go uh, many places to see the verif verify the results so it's very helpful and uh, powerful um, uh, in the space of automation to to uh, uh, and it's very effective um, if you don't have this automation and then it's uh, it's manual stuff is very time consuming and uh, all those limitations are there and the, and the most important is um, um, as this follows uh, a test driven development approach you might be knowing this tdd so uh, so no, so what is tdd so tdd is we uh, first okay when we get the requirement so we start writing the test cases first test scenarios first so and in this case we write the um, uh, test cases and we execute it so normally it will fail because we have not written the code behind it so so all this framework is what it does is uh, the, the automation uh, co code is basically testing out the real the logic behind this so it's testing the code right so code to test another code so so in the test tune development so we as we don't have the business logic written in place first of all we so all the tests are normally fail so um, so so then we write uh, each business logic one by one and um, uh, try running the test suits then we come to know, okay one test case one 
fast, too fast, then if you have 10 test, test cases, then finally we, we, we get past everything. So uh, it's very uh, helpful for me in the sense if we, so normally as in the agile world, we write a small piece of logics, right? So in the one sprint, we might be adding uh, one feature and in the next sprint, we might be adding addition to the, those uh, features. So if you have a test suite, then we can, uh, uh, by running these all test scene test suits we uh, and uh, because in the uh, next day, next sprint we will be refactoring the existing code right so it's very uh, 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 scary if we it, uh, if we touch the uh, already past uh, uh, test uh, all all already past the business logic so with the help of this framework we can uh, we can rig we can do the regression in a very nice way so we come to know whether the new code has been been broken uh, anything else and the uh, existing code etc etc so uh, so it's for me it's very important to have a unit testing framework for any language so oracle as it's a back backend language so we never had any good modern you uh, feel any f frameworks for us so 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 this we can th you can think about for as a uh, for we as we have uh, J unit for Java and um, N unit for C sharp so or dot net so uh, it's uh, as powerful as that so UTP circle uh, comes with very very good modern uh, technology or uh, feature uh, features for uh, for a today's um, modern um, unit test framework so and um, um, the latest release was uh, happened in February 2020. So that's very recent one. So, and uh, now um, it is maintained by the uh, very uh, uh, good team and uh, and uh, all, all the platform uh, they have written now is the is a very good um, modern platforms. Initially, it was written by Steven. Uh, the, the, he was the original author and he has written the, this uh, framework many years ago. So and a few few um, and a few years uh, in between, uh, this was sidelined because uh, Stephen has taken up uh, uh, more uh, different projects, etc. So this was not uh, good. F uh, maybe two years ago or three years ago. I don't know the exact years, but uh, so uh, f but currently this was uh, is it's an active uh, uh, project uh, in the GitHub. So uh, it's brand new. So we can all. Uh, uh, go ahead and learn this um, I would suggest so <coughs> then if we go to next slide so this talk about uh, how to install this framework so it's very easy I mean it as as, we, as you know it's a uh, Oracle and it's um, the framework is been installed on the Oracle database uh, it's not like um, any other uh, plugin we add on uh, any other um, IDE so this is a framework we need to download from the uh, utplsql uh, .org site then install the framework so installing this framework means we create a new repository i mean new repository means it's a new schema so uh, then the schema has all its own um, uh, uh, stored uh, uh, code uh, to run this uh, test uh, test so and uh, so it's very it's it's uh, it's only two three steps to install this uh, uh, this repository and how uh, do we allow the permissions to the other users to run the test so um, I'm, I'm planning to have a very detailed uh, demo on this how to install the utpl sql so you can expect in the upcoming days on that so i'm not going to the detail so its installation basically is um, download the firmware, install the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, install, create the new repository, new schema, and allow the permissions to other users to run it. So that's it. So straightforward. So next is how to run the test cases basically. So, so, so test cases running is very easy. I mean, uh, UTPL circle provides only main two um, entry points. One for uh, standard running and one for API so the so uh, that is called ut dot run uh, that's very straightforward I, I in, a, in a minute I will show you how that uh, as a sample so it gives a very high standard reports I mean <coughs> it provides uh, uh, the reporting uh, to 
compatible with many modern CI CD uh, or DevOps uh, tools. For example, it gives the reporting to JUnit format, it gives the reports to um, VSTS format, so it gives very uh, high standard reporting uh, uh, platforms. And it gives you, gives you a uh, very important piece of uh, information that's called code coverage. So by running this code coverage, we come to know how much uh, mm, coverage we have our um, uh, code has been covered for running these test cases. So I will show you uh, in a minute uh, a sample of that standard reports and as well as the code coverage. Then last step is the integration to the DevOps tools. As I said, as once we have this uh, framework in place, we can integrate into any DevOps tools like uh, VSTS Azure or any um, mm, uh, Oracle Cloud or uh, uh, anything, anything else. I mean, so it's a very standard way of integrating into any modern DevOps tool. So, so it's very powerful. We can do uh, anything in the DevOps DevOps space. That's very important in these days. That's it. All about this tool uh, uh, on this presentation. Let me show you a uh, few examples of how it looks like mm, in the reporting. <clears throat> so, this is, I've just connected to SQL CL, that's the command line uh, to the uh, SQL developer. So, we just run only a single command to get the uh, test, test results, basically. So, this is execute duty.run and this is just to give the color on. So, it gives all this, if you quickly see, this red means it has failed, green means the those test cases have been passed. So this for the just demo of purpose, I have uh, maybe just five tests. If you see the here, this is five tests, one failed, two errored out, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So it gives us so green has been passed. Then it gives us the uh, uh, the error. What is so first error is hr dot create room does not exist. Okay, we can go to this line for this package. Second is numeric or value error. Okay, so that is in another package. So we can go here. Then this always fails. So there is this is the so this expect so this gives us a message as well, as well was expected to be equal to zero. So but it gives some other, another number. So so everything is on the one line, and we can we come to know everything in, in one place. So it's very important. So uh, this this is how when we run a un, unit test. Uh, on the report. So this is just a demo. Okay, the next is the code coverage. So code coverage should look like this. So when I executed my schema, so I ha I just had a very few um, uh, test cases written. So for, for me, so this was just the test written. So this shows me 100% covered. So if I click on here, so it gives us the, uh, the code and how uh, my code has been uh, tested. So, so uh, like this way, we come to know each and every line of code has been test or not test. What are the uh, uh, risk areas? So, this code coverage is also very important. So, so this UDP PLSQL gives us a very powerful uh, framework for Oracle PLSQL, and I I would suggest everyone in Oracle world should start learning this and. Um, I'm planning to have uh, all these um, uh, mo more videos on this, how to install, how to run tests, how to uh, generate code coverage, how to generate m multiple reports, and how to integrate into DevOps, etc., etc. in the coming coming days. So, uh, and uh, mm, and all my friends, this is my first video in my channel. So uh, please support me by su subscribe to my channel and uh, please send your feedback in my comments and um, let me know what which you like and what what I need to improve in the presentation or the language or whatever you think of so that's all about today thank you